Greetings viewers. Thank you for uh, tuning into this video. Um, if you've never met me before, my name is Mr. Will. Of course, I'm one of the puppeteers on the puppet truck. And uh, the video that you are about to watch is all about prop building. So uh, I hope that you find something informative and enjoy. Well, welcome back and thanks again for stopping by the Stonecutter Palace build. This is episode three and this right here is going to be dealing with the build of the actual uh, building for this uh, puppet show. So uh, we've done the research, we have done the design, now it's time to build. All right, so right here, this is uh, just me measuring because uh, you have to measure everything twice before you cut it. Um, also, that was just a safety precaution. Make sure you tuck in your strings if you are going to use power tools so that you don't have any low hanging objects near the blade. It can actually bring you into it. Um, but yeah, so this is just me just cutting the wood up and getting it ready for, you know, the build. <laughs> measured it and guess what perfect <laughs> so some of the stuff uh, the front paneling and the side paneling I had to use a miter saw for so this is just me using a miter saw and remember safety first scoot your fingers away from the blade and remember when I say you can always recycle I just thought about some stuff to go to the store and just realized I've got all of these scraps right here that can be used and recycled. So before you go out and buy something, check to see if you can recycle something first. All right, this is just an image of what the glue up kind of looked like. There were tons of clamps all throughout it. And remember that uh, stencil I made at first in the uh, last video? Here it is, put to use. Then at the proper time, after you score it, all you have to do is just snap it and then it folds into place. And then tape it together. And then I put a little bit of glue on the outside just for uh, reinforcement because remember this one is originally done to be taken out on the road. Alright, then it was paint time. So I spray painted a lot of uh, items because you know, it was going to be just a solid color or you just had to prime certain parts of it. Also spray painted the railings. Um, they go on the uh, front of the building. Um, yeah, and then I hand painted the actual squares of it. I hand painted those uh, because it was a specific color uh, that I wanted to use. All right, so then becomes the process of just gluing everything together. Um, it's it's a puzzle at this point. You're literally just stacking, gluing, stacking, and gluing, and you have to wait because you know there are, it takes time for the glue to actually dry, but you're just gluing everything onto your piece. And then a few weights, you know, I use random weights, <laughs> wood, different solutions. Use what you got. Right, and I was also telling you that you can use just materials from the house. Maybe you ordered a package. Maybe you have a cereal box. You can use these things. I use the exact same method to create the same boxes. The only difference is this is just out of cardboard 
and just using a little bit of tape but all of that stuff just use what you've got you can create what you need to create so much for stopping by and checking out this video i hope you found it informative um i hope you can uh you know put some of these uh videos to use when you're building your own projects now i will do the reveal next week when i actually do the performance part of this series so if you get a chance check it out next week we'll see you all soon bye bye